Ooh, it's chilly today. Hi, I'm Judy. I'm an activist, athlete, and founder of Color the Trails. I like to say to my friends, Winter and I are dating. We're in a situation ship. I don't fully love, love Winter, but I'm learning to live with it and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I was born in Democratic Republic of Congo. I lived there until I was about seven years old. Sadly, due to the conflict that's still ongoing in Congo, we became displaced due to the war. So my family moved around a bit, and about 11 years ago, we moved to Canada after our refugee application was accepted. I began to research where is the warmest place in Canada to live? And Vancouver, BC was a top place on my list. It's so funny because I was terrified of winter, and now I'm in BC, I'm chasing winter. When I first moved to Vancouver, I was having a really hard time connecting with the black communities. So what I did was reached out on Facebook and I got a huge response. I began to organize hikes and that was a success. And then a lot of people began to also reach out within the BIPOC community. People really liked what I was doing and it was a huge interest in creating a safe space where people can come together. That's how Color the Trails was birthed. The purpose of it was to create opportunity for the Black, Indigenous, and racialized communities to be able to access the outdoors. I've been advocating for diversity and inclusion in the outdoors for five years and noticed that there's a knowledge gap as well as financial barriers. Through Color the Trails, we have a lot of really great opportunity for people to come out and try different things. One of our most popular sports is mountain biking. Let's face it, who doesn't enjoy going down fast on a hill on a mountain bike? The mountain biking community here in Vancouver has been super supportive of not just me, but also Color the Trails in terms of bringing new riders onto the trails. I decided about three years ago to try skiing for the first time and it was terrifying. I thought I was gonna die, literally, as I was on that bunny hill. So I began to take some lessons to improve my skiing and now I'm actually a fairly decent skier. After one year of learning to ski, I was fascinated by the backcountry. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna get into backcountry skiing and I fell in love with it because it's almost like hiking but you're on skis and the mountains that I was hiking during the summer looked completely different in the winter time. I love experimenting with fashion. One thing I noticed that everybody here loves dressing in all black and mostly it's like athletic wear. So it was a little bit hard for me to get used to that because I love bright colors. I'm not really trying to fill the mold in terms of who I am or who I am as an athlete. I can enjoy mountain biking, I can enjoy skiing, and I can come out and look pretty cute, I think. So yeah, fashion is my thing. <laughs> Being here in Vancouver has allowed me to really figure out what my passion is, where, where I want to go. For me personally, I'm really excited to further try the sports of ice climbing. Eventually, I really do want to get my pilot license. Flying oftentimes is a great way of exploring and it's a very foreign concept to me. So we'll see. 